everyone, it's so nice to be back. I hope you had a wonderful week. Today in art, we're gonna start working a little bit on knowing how to draw the human figure in a proportional way. For this matter, uh, there's different techniques how to work it, how to work measurements on it. So for us to learn how to draw, we have to actually know where these drawings come from and how they started developing and started to change, okay? Uh, our drawings begin in Greek. Okay, in, in Greek, sorry, in Greek. In Greek, the classic canon is to use the measurement of a head because we use a head as a proportion to draw the human body, okay? So if we're gonna use, instead of using centimeters, inches, we're gonna talk about heads. For example, over here you can see, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, okay? Um, I, I divided these lines in 3.5 centimeters, okay? So I could have an even amount. So 3.5 centimeters is gonna be the size of one head. I already drew a head over here, and that's gonna represent the size of proportion inside my drawings, okay? So um, we're gonna talk about three different kinds of drawings in which there's three different artists or people that work on how to, how to draw proportionally the human body. In our first case, we're gonna talk about Polycletus, okay? Polycletus was had established a canon of the seven heads. What does that mean? That we're gonna have, just let me zoom this out. Polycletus talked about a measurement of seven heads. That means he had one head, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so we, are, we base ourselves in seven heads to draw the human body. After two centuries, Lipletlis created another canon that wasn't with seven heads, it was with seven heads, seven and a half heads. So you had to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So you could draw the proportion of the human body. But after having these two measurements of canons to draw our human body, there came the Renaissance, in which the proportions were now eight heads. So the famous Vitruvian men of Leonardo da Vinci was illustrated in text of Roman architect Vitruvian about mathematical proportions of each part of the body. So, as you can see over here, we have three kinds of measurements to work on for our human body. In which, in this class, we're gonna start with the beginners with seven heads, okay? so. What we're gonna do is, just give me a second. I'm gonna need a white bond paper over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a measurement. I'm gonna use three centimeters as a proportional size for our heads drawing, for our body drawing, sorry. So now I already have my seven head measurements over here in which I'm gonna put number one, Number two, see like that? Number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven. We're just gonna leave this one out, okay? In which, we're gonna start working a little bit on how to draw using our canon of seven heads. At first, in a number one line, right over here, just let me zoom this up a little bit. In my number one, I'm just gonna put at the other side. And I'm gonna put that's where my head is gonna be. Okay, now in my number two, in my head number two is gonna be my middle chest. mid chest, okay? And my number three, my head number three, is my belly
and also my elbow. My number four is my bottom of my torso, over here, bottom torso, my bottom torso, and my wrist. Number five, I just leave that there, and in the middle of my five and my six is where my knees are going to be. And finally, in my number seven, my feet. Okay, so those are the proportions where we're going to start working on, on our human figure. So, how am I going to work this through? I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit more so you can see better. My head. Usually your head is going to be it's kind of like an egg, right? There we go. We're going to do our human head like that. Now we're going to do our middle chest in which I'm just going to use a square. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is draw my figure a neck. Just like that. Once I have that, I'm going to go all the way to my belly right over here and I'm gonna slim in a little bit the figure just like that now I have my bottom torso in which I'm gonna draw let me put this here my triangle after that I have my knees and I'm just gonna do I'm going to draw two circles over here. I'm going to do one circle over here and another one. Just like that. And now I'm just going to connect the first part of my legs. Just like that. Now I'm going to go all the way down to my feet. Just like that. I'm just gonna draw my feet. Okay, so I already have, just let me zoom this in like this. I already have my size of my my human body, and now I'm just gonna grab from over here, I have these connections over here. And I have all the way to my elbow, right? So I'm just gonna draw, I'm just gonna do this circle like this. I'm gonna draw this part like this, right there. And then all the way to my wrist, another part. And my hand is almost all the way to my knee. There we go. Now we're gonna do the other side. Same thing. So there. Now I have my figure, my human figure, drawn in proportion in seven, with a measurement of seven, my cannon of seven feet. Oh, seven heads, sorry. Now we're gonna do a little twist. Now that we have our drawing over here, you can just fix this up a little bit. There we go. Now that we have our seven feet, we're gonna do an angle, changing the side of our figure. I'm, I, we drew first the front side, now we're gonna do it from one side, okay? So what are we gonna do? We have our head. I'm also gonna zoom this in so we can see. Usually, we're gonna draw part of a circle over here like this. Right there. And we're gonna make this a little bit longer, like that. Okay, now our neck, 
is not straight. Usually it's going sideways. It's not straight, right? You can see it's a little bit uh, an angle. Then we're going to draw our mid chest. There you go. Our mid chest here. Here would be our shoulders, right? Then comes this part over here, all the way to our belly, like that. See, that's our spine cord right there. Then we have our bottom torso that we're also going to work on, like doing something like this. all the way to our knees it's going to be around here like that and then all the way I'm sorry all the way to our feet right there and from over here it's the same thing we have all the way to our elbow then we're gonna do that and if you want you can do it all the way down that would be our wrist and our hand. So that way you can consider um, drawing with the seven heads and measurements. And also you can see how you connect the dots to make movement or different kinds of uh, poses in your drawings. So once you have this drawn, I would really like you to just pass on with a marker. Finally, There we go. So guys, we already finished our first drawing with human proportion with our seven head cannon. As, and, um, as soon as you have it and you're, you're ready, just post it in my platform and I just can't wait to see how your beautiful drawings are coming. And you'll be, believe me, you keep on practicing and you'll have a wonderful drawing and you'll be able to draw whatever you want. So guys, until next class, but take, please, please, please take care of yourselves. I love you so much. Until next class, hugs and kisses for everybody. Bye for now.